Hello everybody, this is Liddy Random, and today I am playing False Rebirth, Enhanced Edition. False Rebirth is a psychological story-focused game about the last remaining human and his search for meaning in a post-apocalyptic world. This is the enhanced edition of the game with updated graphics and extra ending, bug fixes, and overall performance improvement. Now, the, this game is actually on Game Jolt, so I'm going to leave a link to the game down in the description. Uh, if you like my stuff, maybe give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And with that said, let's get started. All right, so we're at the menu scene. Find meaning, rebirth. I'm guessing rebirth might be the real endings. So let's get started. With that said, I like this menu screen. This is really cool with the bloody rain drops falling. Oh, eyes closing for the transition screen. That's cool. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Ooh, where am I? So I like this graphics. I like this. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, look at that shadow. What the? Oh, that was cool. What is going on? This is cool. Okay. I have no idea what is going on, but this... Okay, so that's me. Hold shift to run. Okay. Why walk when you can run? Door, you should eat something. Okay. Oh, I'm in a supermarket. Whoa! That is trippy. It's cool, though, that effect. Um, okay. Change your clothes, even when no one's looking. Okay. So can I change my clothes? Apparently not. Okay, um... I already said that. Alright, I guess I keep going. Exit. Let's go home for now. Okay. Okay, so we're in some type of arcade. Yeah, these graphics are really cool. I like the little sprites too, and let's see where we're going. Um, why not take a walk outside? Okay, I will, but I just want to see if anything else. Oh, somebody's sleeping in here. I like the music; it's really good. Gaming, don't feel like it today. The clock, notice the time. see you haven't been practicing cardistry okay well, let's go for a walk then this is pretty this is really pretty I like those trees and the flowers this is pretty Oh no. Kitty? No. Is that a kitty? Is that a mouse? I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see that. A bigger picture is just a few steps away. Whoa. Okay. This is very visually striking. It look just it looks really good. Okay, it all, this sewer, it all started right here, remember? What, some kind of zombie outbreak? Okay, I guess we go up here. Wait, I just did that. <laughs> okay, um, oh, I go down. Descend with care, considering your condition. What's my condition? And who, what the? Did he faint? He, okay, he fainted? Another one, huh? I'm having these blackouts a lot lately. Was escaping a mistake? Am I supposed to even be alive? It's back. Uh-oh. One-winged demon angel? 
Ha, finally. Is that like the angel of death? All this can end. Oh, I should be alright if I don't run anymore, right? What? Huh? Dreaming? No, there's another one. That one's blue. Huh? How can there be two? What the? But no one else should be alive. Where is it heading? I have to follow it. I like the sprite portraits. They're nice. I like, I don't know if those are enemies or what, but the one ring angel... Angel of death, whatever it is. Those look really cool, too. Follow the trail of the blue entity before it vanishes. Oh, look at it. It's, um... It's leaving. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that trail. It's looking, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck? What the... Oh, this is awesome! Run. I am running. Okay. Um. Oh, so it, why did it have to be now? No! <laughs> I searched and searched and searched. Get away from me! Ah! It killed me! Okay. Rebirth. Obviously not supposed to let the red one catch me. Okay, run. Jump. You can jump to here. Up you go. Jump to jump. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> no. Da -da, no. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. go. Okay. 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 Continue following. What? I can't- oh, this way. Okay. It's a path. Alright. What the... Horse, where did it go? Where are you going? Jeez, this is really pretty. Like, I really like these graphics. It went inside that house. Okay. There's a pregnant lady? Am I really seeing this? A woman? She looks familiar, and she's pregnant as well. So two lives. Angel of death, who is it here for? The woman? Or her child? Hello? Whoa! Uh, hello? You're real, right? And wait, do we know each other? I feel like I know you from somewhere. What if... Aha. Uh -huh. What if it's here for someone else? I was about to ask you the exact same questions. What if there's someone in that house? Is that so? Maybe being alone for so long is start to mess with our heads. I should confirm. Um, so you're alone as well? No one's with you? That's right. Just me and my baby right here. And how about you? None on my end. Of course. A guest? Please, why don't you come inside? I have some food if you'd like. Her house. An angel of death is waiting in there. I'm gonna think it through. If it's just her and her child, then one of them could die if we enter the house. Unless... Unless I keep her away from the house. Uh, going. Wait, is she really inviting a stranger into her house? Oh, um, are you sure about that? I am a complete stranger, you know. Yeah, I saw the Red Angel death there, and no thank you. Well, fine, don't come in then. I wouldn't want to stand outside with stranger danger. She sounds angry. I'm headed inside. I think you offended her, dude. Ah, uh, wait, please. What? I'd be delighted to come inside. Now that's more like it. Please be my guest. Uh, 
Thank you so much. Most welcome. Oh, it's angel, the blue angel of death. Please have a seat. It's waiting. It's waiting until all the conditions are met. Are you okay? You look as if you've just seen a ghost. Staring right at, at it, actually. Uh, I'm all right. I'll prepare you something to eat in a jiffy, so make yourself at home. Uh, no need to worry about that. It looks like her stomach could pop at any minute. And please, you should rust. You need to be super careful with yourself right now. I should be okay. No, 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 it's too much a risk, so rest. I'd like to cook for someone else for a change, so I don't mind. I'm actually full, so it would be meaningless. No harm in eating a little either after you're full. Of course there is, that's wasting food. There's an overabundance of resources, so I disagree. And also, it's unhealthy. You look healthy enough to act a little unhealthy. Please, I insist, you should rest. Wait, are you having doubts about my cooking? Of course not. I'd have, I'll, I'd have you know that I'm a marvelous cook. My friends and fam my family and friends kept recommending me to have my own cooking show. That's not the point. I would just feel bad to have you do something for me. But you're a guest. I should get divine. I could get divine punishment for not being hospitable. I'm an un unexpected guest, so that doesn't count. Oh, she's mad. Once I didn't offer any food to a guest because a lot was going on in my head that day. She was a friend's friend's sister's friend. A few days later, my friend yelled at me for being a cruel bleep for not feeding my guests. For a while after that, everyone who visited us felt surprised whenever I offered them food. You screw up one time, and the whole world goes mad. That day, I promised myself to never let something like that happen ever again. Never again. It, it's gone. It faded out, I think. Never again. I won't be back biting about you to a tree. That's for sure. So you sit and I cook, deal? No, not even a bite. Doesn't matter, rest. I've had a seriously bad experience with childbirth, so trust me on this one. Oh, okay, fine. Now that I think about it, she's then she's living here out living out here in the forest, then she must have seen all the corpses that I dragged into this place. What if seeing that scared her into from coming back to that town? Ow, that hurts. Well, there you go. I was just so excited finding something alive that the pain escaped my mind. And hold up, what do you mean that you've had a bad experience with childbirth? You say it like you've get big get yeah. You say it like you've given birth. Of course not. I'm a guy. What I refer I was referring to was that I. Hmm. He doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, my mother passed away giving birth to me. Delivery wasn't proper, and I ended up developing a neurological issue where I often have these random blackouts. But to take good care of yourself, ma'am. I believe that in a world like this, the best gift a mother can give to her child is to just be alive. The longer, the better. Oh, and also, if I happen to suddenly fall unconscious, then just ignore me and don't worry about it. It happens all the time. I'll spring back up in a bit like nothing happened. Er, uh, you sound awfully happy for someone who just shared something very depressing. Well, what can I say? I suppose we can't control where we start. Perhaps we can control where we end up. I don't have the energy to be philosophical right now. Aha, uh -huh, of course. Hey, is it alright if I ask you a personal question? Fire away. Do you visit your mother's grave? Hmm? To pray for her and pay respect, I mean. Oh, um, no, I haven't. I'm afraid I don't even know where her grave is. Oh, okay. I'm super curious. What made you bring up a question like that? 
I never met my parents either, or at least don't have any memory of them. What happened to them? I'm not exactly sure. They both passed away when I was very little, and so I was raised by my relatives. As I was growing up, I always wanted to visit the grave, but never got to do it. What's been stopping you? Whenever I'm near a graveyard, I, I just start to panic. Death is scary, isn't it? I suppose so. They brought me into the world, so I've always felt like I owe them a visit at their new house. I'm rec I've recently been having dreams where I hear them calling out to me, waiting for me to come make a visit. Excuse me if I say some words wrong since I'm constantly talking. Sometimes that happens. So I asked you that question to say how you're so lucky, but you don't even know where your mother's grave is. How about I visit your parents' grave for you? If you're not good at something, you can get help from someone who is. I've got no problem visiting even the deepest and darkest of graveyards. And so, I'll make a visit to your parents on your behalf. I'll have a little chat with them and tell them that you're doing awesome... Awesome-tacular. Awesome-tacular, haha. <laughs> Did you just match awesome and spectacular? That sounds so lame. Hey, gets the job done. Makes the other person feel like you're brimming with positive vibes. Haha, <laughs> whatever you say. And yes, I'd like that. If it's not an issue for you, I'd like to visit my parents' grave. And I'd like you to visit my parents' grave and pay respect to them on my behalf. Awesome sauce. Consider it done. Thank you so much. Happy to be of service. Oh, wait. You should work on your phobia, though. It won't be pretty for you, since in the end, we're all going down, up, and up. Stop that. Don't say stuff like that. Whoa, the phobia is real. I know. My kid's going to visit me in my new home. Saying new home instead of grave. Very creative. If I had lots of kids, perhaps they could all visit me with their own kids and families in that way. I'll never, ever get lonely in there. Uh, I think I'll be okay. Aha, uh, that's one way to go about it. I feel thirsty. All this plot twist made me forget that I came here running. Is it alright if I grab a glass of water? Nope. Oh, sorry. Haha, ha, I was just joking. There's a cup on the table in front of you. And there should be water inside that vase in the corner. Thank you, thank you. Cup. Pick the cup. Pick the cup up. Okay, well, the cup is... Oh, shouldn't loiter in someone's house. Is this like the house's thoughts? Uh, she said it was in the cupboard, right? Oh, no, the cup's right there. Okay, interact with the water vase. Or get stuck on the fish. Interact. By the way, do you have everything ready for your delivery? Is there anything you'd like me to fetch for you? I'll be okay, I think. I got the blankets, the umbilical scissors, everything the manual said. Oh no, he just blacked out again. I've been preparing myself for this mo- Uh, hey? Uh, uh-oh. Uh, glad I told that lady about my condition. Um, oh boy. Huh? What's going on? Oh no. No, it's taking your soul. I've been out for too long. Hey, you're awake. I'm so sorry. My eyes feel heavy, so could you take care of him? For a little bit, right? You're just going to take a short nap, right? Yeah. He, he looks just like his father. Is that so? All babies look exactly the same to me. No idea how you moms are able to tell the difference. Did you give him a name? Ma'am? Ah, yes. What name did you give him? Yeah, his name. What's his name? Salik. Huh? Uh, what? His name is Salik. Oh, right. Wait, what do you mean? She's dead. Salik, are you kidding me? But that's my name.
What now? Oh, not you again. I suppose I ought to bury... It's still after me? If I run away from the place of my supposed death, then it should leave me alone for now. Should I take the child as well? I don't know how far I'd have to go or when I'd be able to return to this area again. But with the child, I'd be slower. I, I can't take, can't leave the baby. I was planning to die anyway. Perhaps saving this life might help me die a bit more nobly. Come on, Salak. We're going to make a run for it. Everything's on fire? What the? Run deeper in the forest and don't let the angel of death catch you. I don't have time to process this mess. Think, what to do, what to do? It arrived in town first, so that's a definite dead zone. Running deeper in the forest is my best bet for now. Go slower, don't shake. How do I... Ah! No, go away! Don't like you, go away! Okay, I gotta go there. Yes, see, I'm trying to... I keep getting stuck. Oh, this way. Thank you, Direction, for being very helpful. What the... Jeez, the graphics and the effects in this are really cool. Slow and steady. Okay. Oh, got caught in a rock. All right. Keep it up with keeping it up. Oh. What the? <gasps> that scared me. No! We're almost out of the forest. And... Uh-oh. Dead bodies everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at the pile of corpses. I'm so sorry, I could only bury so many. Okay, I can't go that way. Where do I go? Down? Where do I go? Oh, right here? No, everything's on fire. I don't know where to go. It won't let me... Oh, wait, maybe it'll let me go. Oh, there we go. Cutscene type pass. Showing me the way to go. Just a bit further. Whoa! No, 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 no. I said the fallen might help. This can't be happening. We're almost at the end. Maybe I can jump through it. No, too hot. I need to figure out a way to get across. The fallen can help. I could use that trolley to... Wait here, little Salak. I need to clear a path for us. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's a trolley. Human bones. They're fire retardant, aren't they? Interact with the pile of human remains in front of you. Okay, if I throw enough of these over the fire, I can cross through. Need another batch. Another pile over the fire. My intention is not- I'm sorry- super sorry about all this. My intention is not to just disrespect the dead. It's done. We can cross now. Good news, little Selleck. <gasps> what do I do? I don't have time to think things through again. I'll keep my hand front to make sure it's safe to touch. Full speed ahead. Ready, Selleck. Ready, set. I got you. Huh? Where's my arm? Didn't think- don't think about it. Anime, JRPG, video games, 2D waifus, I am and everything nice. Don't think about it, don't think about it. It's just... Circle around the corpses. 
Oh my god, he's bleeding. Oh man, what the... Okay. <laughs> that probably wasn't necessary. Alright, let's go. Oh boy. Oh, there's a wolf and a mother and child. We did it. We're safe. Oh, go home, mate. Today's not the day I die. Tell it to your boss. I think I got too excited, though. Or wait, I don't know if these guys get pissed or not. I wouldn't want it floating on my tail just because I said that. I should apologize. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't mean to say all that. This dude is weirdly polite. I just got too excited after winning our race and accidentally blurted all that out. Dude, you're missing an arm. How do you... I think I may have messed up that apology. Ah, well, moving on. Well, I suppose I'm still in the danger zone because... Because I have no idea how to take care of you, little Salik. We're going to... We're going straight to the library and I'm going to learn how to. You know what you'll be when you grow up? My co-op gamer buddy. That is, unless all the gaming systems I own don't break in a few years. I should probably learn how to fix them, too. Now that you're here, I'm starting to think long-term. This is going to be... Oh, oh, is he blacking? Oh, no! Exciting! Oh, no. Wake up! What the... Another blackout? Huh? Uh, what was the baby? Salik? Where are you, little buddy? Stay calm. Hey, little Salik, come out. Come out wherever you are. I thought it'd be a few years until you started going off on your own. Why the early start, buddy? Stay calm. Salik? Uh, what's going on? Where did he go? Music's super sad. He's just an infant. He couldn't have gone anywhere on his own. Did someone take him? Was it his mother? No, oh, she died. No, no, no. No one's alive. Then who or what? Perhaps a wild dog. Okay, that was a wild dog. After everyone died, there's been a noticeable infestation of dogs in urban areas like this one. A wild dog? No, 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 no! I need to go back where I started and look for any tracks. I can't lose him. If I lose him, I will end up losing myself. Go back to the spot where you blacked out. Dang it, my vision's all messed up. Huh? What's that? I think I can see something over there. Get closer to the object. No. Is that another angel of death? It is. Oh no, is he here for... Oh no, he is. <sighs> no. Stop it, please. What? 
Wait, please. Take my life away, too. Oh, that thing is creepy. Your life? Since when did it ever belong to you? Mom? Was that you? Okay. So I that was one of the endings. That was cool. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's the um the credits. Cool. Oh, I'm actually... Okay. Music by... Oh, this... The background is so pretty. Music is lovely. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and get some of the other endings. Oh, look at this. That's pretty. And... I mean, I guess this kind of signifies hope, at least that's what it feels like to me. Or a new beginning? Mmm... Just bearing another... or just... Putting another random body there. Okay. This is... I thought it might mean something. Because it was pink, but no. Hi. Where am I going? That's a creepy looking grave over there. What the? Oh, they're just trees. Okay. Wait, did he? So... He killed himself? Okay. Plugins. I mean, I'm not, and these are cool credits. They're really awesome way to do them. You can tell a ton of work was put into this. I think I much prefer the world that's light and pretty and has all the flowers than the one that was all red and full of death. What? Mother? This is nice. Your new home, I mean. When a home looks as nice as this on the outside, I imagine the inside's pretty heavenly. Not as bad as you thought, now is it? Well, it was unfortunate that you only had one child. But it'll be okay. I'll make up for it and come visit often so you don't feel as much lonely, as lonely anymore. And I see you finally met your parents. Might as well go and introduce myself to them. Hello, hello, my name's Salak. I'm the son to your only daughter. I'm the life that she sacri sacrificed herself to create. And so... And so, I won't throw it away anymore. I feel tired. 
I'll just take a short nap now. Sorry, Mother. I'll talk to you when I wake up. I have a lot that I want to share with you. About my life, the few friends that I had, my 3D and 2D crushes, and the weird dreams that I keep having. And also about Sigma and Sakur. Sucker. Eh. Sigma and Sucker? I wonder what that is. And he fell asleep. Okay. Hmm. And it's nighttime. Oh, his soul's leaving his body? Oh, the Reapers finally come for his soul? Okay. And then everything went white. True end, mother. Oh, look at that. I got the true end on the first try. Okay. Okay, let me say that was a really cool experience. Um, if you want to see the rest of the endings, I suggest you click on the link and maybe play the game yourself. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was going on, but to me, it seemed like the protagonist might have committed suicide and he was in some sort of purgatory and he was trying to find meaning while he was there. It was a near-death experience. I'm not totally sure. Either way, the game is really cool. Visuals are great. Everything about it is awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it, so... That's going to be it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.